Yeah, yeah, no clouds. <laughs> no clouds. Uh, we've got a lot of clouds uh, uh, expected as we go today. Today, though, we're seeing some breaks in the clouds around parts of the River Valley right now this morning. We'll have some breaks out there before more clouds build back in and more thunderstorms and showers build back in later on today. The overnight soaker is pushed out of here. And again, we had dried out during the month of February. It didn't pick up a lot of precipitation, so we needed a good soaking. That's what we got. Nothing severe, just good steady showers pushed through and now have pushed out. We're dry. We're going to see a lull for your Friday morning. Rain chances pick back up as we get into the afternoon. We've very similar to yesterday, starting out in the cool 50s. We're only seeing highs in the cool 60s today. Clouds build back in. We'll see a north wind take over today as a cold front comes in uh, to our area. Uh, we're tracking that front still just to the northwest right now. And again, we've had a couple waves of energy already pushed through in the last 24 hours to give us some showers. We've got more energy to the west that still has to come through over the next 24 hours and you can see it reloading across western southwestern Oklahoma and then especially back down into Texas again we're going to see a lot of that start to push back into our area could start to see some of those uh, North Texas Red River showers developing now try to push into the Washita's an area south of I-40 by late morning mid morning we could watch that uh, outside of that Northwest Arkansas I think it could be a while we'll stay dry here through the a.m. hours and see that rain chance really pick up more into the afternoon again uh, from LaFleur County County back to Haskell Latimer parts of southeast Oklahoma could see some of those showers push in late morning and then we'll see those isolated showers really start to blossom again. You can see that with future track radar. I think it's doing a good job here trying to bring some of the moisture to the south into our southern region late morning early afternoon. Maybe an isolated shower around lunchtime trying to redevelop for northwest Arkansas but you see the lull that we're in to start the day and then we'll pick it up with scattered showers trying to pop. You see some of those brighter colors showing up in there too. Again some instability is going to build as we go into the in the afternoon the atmosphere is going to be in recovery mode from the widespread rain overnight. And if we can get some breaks of sunshine in there, that would help with that instability. And so that's why we'll have to watch our southern zones, maybe the ingredients coming together. For this zone, we're talking I-40 South to have the best chance to see a strong storm or two mixed in later today. Not looking at a big severe weather event. We've shifted our severe zone chance. It's very low, but it's off towards the south. We'll watch it for you. Scattered showers, rumbles of thunder, and some downpours are going to try to move into northwest Arkansas as we go into the evening. So again, mid, late afternoon into the evening hours, those rain chances pick back up, and then we'll slowly taper it off as we go overnight as that energy finally pushes away from us. As we get into the morning hours, that that little pocket of cold air coming in with the remaining precipitation could give us a light shower, maybe a snowflake, a sleep pellet, not going to be a big deal. Uh, temperatures are above freezing and ground temperatures are well above freezing as well. Uh, with temperatures on Friday heading into or Friday night heading into Saturday, they're going to be the coolest in the next seven days. Uh, we'll have that north breeze around Saturday. We'll get some increasing sunshine, but the damage is done. But doesn't stick around long. We're getting closer and closer to spring officially starting, so our rebounds have happen a lot quicker and those cold spells are a lot shorter and a lot fewer in between. Good. We've been waiting for those long stretches of good weather. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're in the sweet spot. We're building in lots of 70s and low 80s the last couple of weeks.